Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight I've got the Iron Factory IFEX14, the Ultimate Commander. <laughs> yeah, this is the the uh, Optimus Prime with the um, uh, command, well, the Commander armor that fits over him that also makes a trailer for him. All that in a uh, Cybertronian pickup truck look. And he is awesome. So, uh, yeah, here's a box. Nothing much to it. On the side, there's the continuation. On the back, we can see some modes right here. We've got the uh, Optimus Prime with the Apex armor. You've got Optimus Prime or, uh, with the weapon up. Optimus Prime normal. Optimus Prime in pickup truck. And Optimus Prime in pickup truck towing the uh, armor. Which makes it a trader, which I think it's really freaking cool. Underneath it's only legal stuff and you know, sad dude and whatever. Oh, on the side we have the uh, Optimus Prime with Aleria. Now, I've seen a couple of boxes with uh, only that box, and on the side there was the Aleria uh, box and another design box which showed Aleria with Optimus Prime on it. And I bought this from BigBadToyStore.com, and I was I just just looking at the box. There's nothing that says like Elyria is in there, and I was about to write to up the, to BB, uh, BBTS.com about my missing Elyria. But once you open up the box, oh, there she is. Now the whole box is on the side, and it's just a tiny box. So yeah, uh, Elyria, I'm going to come back and do a uh, separate review for her. So stay tuned. On the upcoming days, I'm going to post this uh, the review for Elyria. Right now, let's go for the main course of Optimus Prime. So here we have the box and nothing inside. Let's throw this. We've got the instructions right here, uh, which are okay. They helped during transformation for the steps that was missing that I didn't know too much. Uh, a few steps are uh, backward, I'd say. Well, it's either not clear or uh, some steps they tell you to do one thing, but you have to do something else before that before, because the, the steps that they ask you to do won't happen until you do another step that they recall uh, later on. So yeah, it's not the greatest, but they help. <laughs> so, so that was a side. And here we have... <coughs> sorry. Here we have the Optimus Prime in the uh, bubble, so let's take this off. So here we have a uh, part of the armor. You got uh, the boots right here. Let's set those aside. You got uh, the cannon. A nice cannon. It's just plain black. Nothing much to it. So, eh, it does the job. And here we have the Optimus Prime. And he looks so great. Now, the first thing you notice when you take the figure in your hand is the quality of the plastic. I own almost every single Iron Factory figure so far that they've come out with. And for this figure in particular, the plastic is completely different. All the other ones feels like a uh, sort of a mate, really solid, almost rubbery plastic and this one feels more like a um, uh, how do you say like a a Gundam model plastic it it feels really really different and I don't know why they changed it I love the plastic quality of the previous figure this one feels like it could stress mark and breaks and break easily the it's can you hear just moving the figure everything is squeaky and it's just squeaky plastic and it's frightening the figure it feels great it, it doesn't feel cheap and the, it feels like solid but the plastic quality kind of feels off that's really weird I mean the figure is great but I don't know why they changed the plastic quality uh, compared to the uh, previous uh, Iron Factory figures so anyway yeah so we have the figure right here uh, the articulation is great we've got a ball joint head Nice details. Can we focus? Nice detail on the head. 
It's only a ball joint, so yeah, it pivots, rotates great. The arms are on a ball joint right here. Focus. There is also a swivel here and a swivel there. The hand is also can move the, the, the hand can rotate and swivel. The guns can be removed. Uh, there is some waist articulation, waist swivel. There is a ball joint thigh and also swivel. The knee does bend about 90 degree. And the toe, the toes are like the, the, on a ball joint, so swivel up, down. So yeah, there's a lot of articulation, and he can do the karate pose. Da, da, da. Focus. Focus, come on. Alright, so yeah, he does it. The, the, the articulation is amazing, so yeah. He... So, oh, we almost... So... We move the black patch, and we have the rest of the armor right here. So let's take this out. Let's pull this out. Right here we have a giant sword, which I love. Because you can pull it apart right here. And pull the handle apart. And now we have a tiny hex for Optimus Prime right here. And if you plug the, where's the handle, yeah. and if you plug the rest of the handle with the sword, you have a tiny sword now for him. So now we have a sword and a hacks for Optimus Prime. And, <laughs> yeah, love this. It's really great. I can, I can the camera a little bit. Yeah, he looks great with those. We also have... Two more cannons. Again, plain black, nothing to it too much. Get to the side. We got here the Adam gloves. Focus. Yeah, some Adam gloves. These though don't have any uh, articulation. It's a little bit uh, disappointing, but yeah. And we have. Uh, oh. Alright, let's do these ones then. These are shoulder pads for when combining. We also have a, a space for uh, those of us that likes to put the uh, uh, stickers, <laughs> faction stickers. We have the crotch plate right here. Nothing to it. And finally. We've got the combined Apex chest shield and the uh, new Optimus head. And it looks great. Can we focus? Yes. Lots of details. And it looks nice. And again, it's on a swivel and bowl joint so it can move all the way around. So, yeah. And nothing else in the bubble. So let's set this aside. Yoink. Yes. So, yeah, amazing figure. Uh, we can. Uh, first off, I'm gonna transform him into his uh, truck mode. So, we can leave these there. Yeah. Uh, we can start with raising, uh, lowering the uh, knee pads down until they clip and then you close the foot all the way like this and move them down the, the, the further is down you can put them because when you put them they, they kinda stop right there but you can still pull them way down like this alright so next up you want to plug the legs together and squish them they won't click or anything, but yeah. Next up, come here and raise the, the head. And you want to raise the torso just a little bit like this. And you raise the head. This gives clearance for the bumper to come down. And next up, you want to turn the head around and move it down like this. And push it all the way down. 
so it goes inside right there. Next up, you want to raise the cockpit. Next up, you want to move the arms like this. Uh, is it? Or no, it's like this. So you just bend the arms on the other way around, like 90 degrees. Next up, you come to the back, and by pulling the cannon, the cannons can be removed. And there's this block right here. It's sitting like this, and you need to pull it down. Now, here's what the instructions tell you. They tell you to flat, flatten this, but this cannot be flattened until you spin the waist around. And then you can flatten it. This locks the waist. And the, t the instruction tells you to lower this, and a few steps later, they tell you to rotate the waist, which is impossible, you know. So you have to twist the waist around first, and then lower, flatten the uh, back shield, the backpack shield. Next up, you flip the canopy like this. So now you have all the kind of like the uh, truck mode now. Next up, you want to rotate this. Oh wait. The arms need to be like this, like this. Now there's some uh, peg holes right here in the elbow. They're gonna peg right here and then the waist. There's a peg and they peg inside of it. Like this. And do the same thing for the other side. Lick. And peg it in. Like this. Now you only have to clean it up. Just fit everything else in. And there we have the truck mode completed. Like I said, you just, they, they're not like symmetrical, so you just need to fix the shoulders, which are kind of like in the uh, ball joints. So you just have to fiddle with it until you have the perfect. A. Alright, so now we have the truck. Now the wheels does spin, but on my table it doesn't spin too much. So yeah, the wheels right here, as you can see, I don't know, maybe you can really focus. Uh, the wheels are like separate, so only like one side of the tire does spin on both sides. Uh, it's not, uh, it doesn't roll too good on my table especially, so the, the wheels, when you roll them, right now the wheels are rolling, but you don't see them, like, rolling, like when, like this, like this, you know, on my table, they don't, it, it, the car doesn't roll too good, but, yeah, alright, so for the trailer now, let's start with the boots, you take the, both boots, and you flip this open, on the side. Now as you can see there's like a big peg hole right there. These go, uh, well uh, not the peg hole, the big, the big peg, I mean yeah, the big peg right there fits into the peg hole of the wheel right here. Like this. Now there's no like uh, connectors right here so the legs doesn't block here but like I said they just connect right here and now we have the trailer get attached to it. Now for the backpack, first you raise this up, close the cannons down, and the wings. The wings on the side right here. There is a tiny peg, and it's gonna play a plug right here inside of the gun. So clip it in and clip it that one in too, like this. So now you have like. A 90 degree back shield with a top. The chimneys right here, kind of. Alright, next up you come with the gloves. Uh, on each side of the glove, there is a tiny peg. And a, there's a tiny peg right here and a tiny peg hole right there. So plug it in. And on top of them, there's like two other pegs underneath the, uh, the glove. Can we focus? Yeah. So tiny pegs, and just on top of it, uh, underneath of it, there's two other tab. You need to put the opening towards you and plug the gloves in like this. 
Next up, you come with the uh, shoulder pads, and you plug the uh, chimney inside of peg holes right here on each side. Yeah, that side. All right, and same thing for the other one, leaving the crest uh, shield underneath. So plug it in. Uh, like this doesn't need to be too perfect there is this uh, skirt or jetpack thing it needs it, it technically should be down like this when you, you've placed the uh, shoulder pads flip it like this so it locks the uh, shoulder pads next up you want to come with the uh, crotch plate and it ha it has grooves right here oh. It's gonna be better if I show it on the camera. These two grooves will slide right there. So you just slide it in like this. And you're almost done now. Finally, you take the uh, crest, uh, the chest shield, flip the head down like this. You don't need to flip it all the way around. And on each side, right here, there's pegs. These will peg inside of the uh, cannons on each side. So you want to plug one in and plug the other one inside. And now we have the complete top of the trailer done. Now right here, they, there's these two big pegs. will fit inside of the legs. There's like two big holes right here. This fits there, like this, and now we have the complete trailer done, and it looks really great. It's a massive truck. Obviously, it does roll. All the wheels rolls. Now you can armor the truck. There, uh, you can put the cannons on the side this you can put uh, the double cannons right here if you want to there's a lot of pegs that you can just place anything anywhere you know uh, the uh, I don't know the axe you can just put the ultimate weapon and yet on the uh, the side right here there's a hole you can you know, Peg the uh, sword on top right here, and you can peg whoop, the cannon on top. There's a lot of playability if you want. So yeah, the truck is all armored up now. <laughs> it looks a little bit too uh, overpowered if you know, if you ask me. You focus, yeah. But yeah, the truck looks great. <laughs> so heavy but uh, yeah the uh, I'm not a fan of the all fully armored up but yeah it looks great it does hold nothing you know shakes it's really solid beside the wheels you don't hear anything so yeah and yeah there's nothing much else to say I mean <coughs> sorry I really really love the fact that everything has its place you know if you want to display it, every single piece uh, fits somewhere. That's, you know, that's just like Transformer 101. When you do parts forming, I don't mind parts forming as long as everything has its place. A spot that fits on. And this is what the trailer does. And I'm a huge fan of this. I love this. And yeah, so let's combine it onto the Apex armor. So first off, you have to transform uh, Optimus back into robot mode. I'm gonna do this real quick. Open up the arms, twist, uh, open those up, turn these around, plug those inside of the tires, twist, plug the arms in like this. You can leave the cannons uh, on the side arm. Uh, no, no, first you have to remove it. Yeah, right. You have to remove these cannons. <clears throat> the 
Next up, you want to lift this up, flip this open like this. This goes open. The head stays down. You can you need to remove the back cannons and flip this up like this. Twist the waist around, unpeg the legs, stretch them out like this, and leaving the uh, <clears throat> the torso extended like it's, it's usually like this. Leave the torso extended so there is a gap between the uh, waist and the chest. And now uh, Optimus is completely ready for the apex armor. So we need to. <clears throat> Unplug everything from the trailer, separate everything. Let's do these the boots, <clears throat> the gloves, the shoulder pads. All right, so yeah, we open these ups up like this. The backpack, close it like this. Oh, forgot to remove the crotch plate. Flip this around, flip the cannons up, you just open the cannons up, and yeah, just pretty much leave it like this for now. We'll we'll finish with this one. Alright, let's start with the boots. <clears throat> First you want to close the just the panels like this. Do the same thing on the other side. There's a tiny groove right here, and the panel's gonna lock onto it, like this. So you plug it in the same way you plugged it uh, with the trailer. So, focus. And the peg right there, you plug this peg right here. Like this. We want to remove, just also uh, move the uh, knee pads up. And you plug the other leg like this, and now we have the legs done. As for the gloves. Open the flap right there, and underneath there's gonna be. Can we see it? It's kind of hard. Yeah, there's a peg right there. This is where the fist is gonna grab onto it. So you just slide the fist onto the peg like this. It pegs really in, and you just close the flap. Same thing for the other glove. Open the flap, just slide it on top of the hand. Make sure the hand is pegged inside of it and close the flap. Like this. Next up you want to do the uh, shoulder pads. They, uh, there's a peg right there. Oops. Tiny peg right here. And it's going to fit inside of the groove. Inside, right there. So, oh and there's an also another peg uh, right here. It's going to peg inside of the, uh, between the uh, chimneys. So we just slide it in, it goes in really solid. Same thing for the other side, just slide it in, it goes in real solid. Alright, crotch plate, same thing. It's, it's, uh, there's nothing that pegs it in, it's only held by friction of the uh, grooves right here. So you just slide it, slide all over the uh, crotch. Like this. And finally, you want to take the chest shield, and this is gonna slide underneath the uh, inside of the uh, the crack in between the chest, and it pegs in real solid. And there you go. Now we have Optimus Prime with the Apex armor on. Can we focus? Yes. <laughs> now the cannons right here, you want to peg them on the legs if you want. Uh, but I believe this is where they originally goes. Like this. And uh, yeah, the, oh, the backpack. <laughs> the backpack, right here there's a, like a key looking uh, peg hole. And if you look right here, the backpack has a peg with the uh, the indent on it. So you just need to plug this in. Like this. 
Now you can lower the cannon over the shoulder. So uh, yeah, he's pretty much done now. You can give him whichever weapons you want to. The big sword axe. The big cannon can be pegged on the back. Right here, one, two. Come on, it's really freaking tight. And yeah, he's a uh, cannon. And give him the other cannon, the Optimus Prime one. And we're pretty much done. <laughs> And he still has the same pretty much articulation. The legs does move. Uh, he does have the knee bend. The legs does have a uh, an up a new uh, swivel for the uh, ankle. And the arms does still rotate. He still has pretty much the same articulation, even with the big armor on. And that's just amazing. If you want more detail, a look. Yeah, he looks great. I'm gonna put some uh, toy hacks uh, decals on the shoulder for sure. And yeah, he looks great. <laughs> you can move the wings like you want. If you want them back, closed, there's, you know, like you want. I like him like this. Yeah. Yep. Let's put him on the back. Size comparison. <laughs> Here's the Iron Factory Magnus. Which, uh, you know, it's normal that he's a little bit uh, smaller. Here's uh, DX9 Megatron. <laughs> Here's DX9 Hulky. <laughs> Which is a tad bigger. <laughs> Here's DX9 RC. Uh, this is Iron Factory. This is DX9. Sorry. This is DX9's RC. We also have uh, DX9's cop right here. For those that don't have the uh, DX9 or Iron Factory, here's uh, whoops, Titan Return No, 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 No. <laughs> we have like a uh, Titan's Return Bumblebee right here. Let's see. Uh, I think this is the Iron Factory Chrome Dome uh, or DX9. I think this is the Iron Factory. Here's Shapeshift. Uh, Starscream. Wow. <laughs> here's here's a uh, world smallest. Uh, I mean, world smallest Grimlock <laughs> with world smallest uh, Blitzwing. Yeah, so it's a big family. I like I said, I really love the tiny figure ones, and this one is just amazing. I my only gripe again, like I said. It's the plastic quality. Uh, like I said, it is a solid figure. It's just that the plastic feels completely different from what we've already got from uh, the Iron Factory ones. The Iron Factory feels really solid, kind of matte, and this one feels kind of like uh, the uh, plastic that, would, that you would build Gundam figures with. Uh, it's not like... Uh, It is solid, but it feels more like it would easily uh, stress mark. I don't have any stress mark on, mar uh, on mine so far. It, like I said, it is a solid figure. It's just the plastic feels kind of flimsy. But, yeah, you know, it's still a great figure. And the price was like, I think, 50 bucks for the whole uh, uh, Optimus with the Apex armor. And it came with the... Illyria uh, figure. So yeah, I'm gonna be checking this one out uh, real soon. <laughs> so yeah, I highly recommend this figure. It's a great figure, another great add-on for the Iron Factory line, and I really, really recommend it. So yeah, thank you for watching, and see you next time.